Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Cue the intro. Alright, so today I'm at my church running sound, as always, and our worship leader who plays the piano is not going to be here today. So with that being said, we are doing worship a little different than normal because we are playing backing tracks with no vocals and having the congregation sing the vocals and having the lyric videos on the screen. Basically what I'm doing right now is powering on the sound equipment and getting it ready for practice and sound check. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the sound console booting up and it takes a couple seconds and then all the faders that were on previously will automatically come up. So now I am powering on our Apple Mac computer. This is the computer we use for our presentation software. These Mac computers are very popular and we use ProPresenter 6 and ProPresenter is a very popular presentation software that most churches use. So now I'm just waiting for the soundboard to come up. Any time now. Just wait for it because it will automatically come up. And, yep, there it is. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, here's a short clip from practice. There is no one like you. There is none beside you. Okay, so now that the service is over, I had to run tests on our LED lights down there by the stage because some of them weren't working right. And for some reason, only seven out of the eight work. One of them doesn't work right now, but I'm more of a sound guy than a lighting guy. So, I'm just putting on red. Yep, there we go. See, there's only three on that on that right side there. There's white. Now, I'm changing the lights right now and fading them to different colors and seeing which ones are working, which ones are not. So far, all seven of them appear to be working the correct way. I don't know why that eighth one down there at the end is not working right, but I can't can't get it to. I'm like I said, I'm a sound guy, not a lighting guy, so I can't figure it out. But I'm just changing the collars, and making sure they all follow the collars that I change it to, all together. Back to red, now white, and there is a fourth one over there on, on the left side behind that speaker, but. Yep, here we go, white, and red again, see, yeah, so I brought the red down, then I brought it back up, and I brought it back down again, and if you watch over there on the very far left corner, when I bring them all up at the same time, they all come up, all seven of them come up, and so watch, they'll come up on white. See, I bring them all up, and they come up at the same time. But when I fade them back down, that one over there stays. And then I have to bring it down separate, and I don't understand why it does that. It doesn't make sense. But uh, they're all working, except for the one on the very far right corner. But I'm just, I'm done with it for now, because, uh, like I said, I'm more of a sound guy than a lighting guy, so I'm going to have to get somebody else to come here and reprogram them back so I'll just turn them off for now. Now I've got to unbox some stuff. So down here on the floor I got some HDMI splitters and cables and different things for those TVs down in the front area by the stage. And so I have to take everything out of the packaging and out of the boxes and stuff and I gotta look at it and I gotta sort it all out. I gotta get everything ready for when the guy comes to hook all these, hook those two TVs together and run the cabling through the floor so that we can control them from our computer and start putting the lyrics and stuff on those screens that are on the sides that you saw earlier when I was doing the lights. So, Right now I'm just unboxing everything, taking everything out of boxes and out of the packages and I'm actually I'm having a hard time holding the camera and doing this at the same time so I have to stop the camera 
and take stuff out. And then I got to turn it back on because, see, I can't, I can't, for some reason, I can't do it. But this is an HDMI splitter. It splits the output from the TVs to one input for the computer. And there's a power cord with it. And then this is a power cord for those two boxes back there. And same thing with this. This is also a power cord. So then this right here is another box for the TVs. And um, it has an HDMI input. It's an HDMI extender, HDMI sender. It sends the signal from the TVs to the computer. And then so those connect to the TVs. And then there's the HDMI cable. I don't know why it's so short. And I don't know what these are, but they have like audio jacks on the end of them. If somebody can explain it in the comments. Here's a 100 foot long cable that I have to run on the ground from the front to the back. And that's it. So here it all is out of the packaging, out of the boxes. That's the 100 foot cable and there it all is all sorted out for the guy to connect everything together. And so I can control the TVs from the computer. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.